Shalom. Shalom. It's the brother Amawan Ibad and the brother Rawa Shafar. Right, and we're here in the spirit, through the spirit and power of the Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, going into a lesson. Okay, before uh, we go any further, we're going to give our honor and glory and praise unto Yahweh Bashim Yahushai Bashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us this truth and rule well. Salutations and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Okay, to you, we say Shalawam. To the Akim and to the Akwath, that will be your brothers and sisters. Adawan Rataza, that is to say, Lord willing. Hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. Okay? And today we're going to be going into a lesson, okay? Um, and we're going to entitle it uh, "Trust, Trusting in the Lord, okay? Our trust is in the Lord, okay? And that's, that's where your trust should be, okay? That's right. Especially in these times, okay? Because... Um, uh, Dangerous times are coming, man. You're going to need a, 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 a hedge of protection, okay? Because the book of um, 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 1 tells you, and this know also that in the last days, we're living in the last days, and you can clearly see the prophecies are going forward, and the scripture tells you that none shall fail, okay? The Lord says he's going to do all his pleasure. So famine, pestilence, death, and destruction is coming, man, That's okay? Right. So at the end of the day, you're going to need a hedge of protection, man. All right? And that, remember, uh, wrath and mercy comes from the Lord. Okay? So if your trust is not in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, it's not going to be looking well for you, man. So we put our trust in the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and, and, and that's what we're going to expound on today. All right? So that once again, the title for this lesson is Trusting in the Lord, man. All right? Our trust is in the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Uh, you, can, you, can, you can start with that scripture, brother. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Right. The Lord said to, to, to trust in him with all thy heart, meaning your mind. Okay? That word in the Hebrew for heart is lab. Okay? In the Hebrew, which means your mind. Okay? You, 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 you got to trust in the Lord, man, with all your heart, okay? That's what you got to do, man. The Lord, the, the Lord wants to know that you got, you got, uh, you got uh, uh, faith in him, okay? By you trusting in him, you, you, you taking counsel of him before you do anything, like how King David used to do, taking counsel of the Lord, man, before you do anything, okay? That, that shows the faith. That you have in the Lord, that you actually you trust in Him, you believe in Him, okay. It says, acknowledge Him. Read the sixth verse again. And all thy ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct thy paths. Right, He is going to direct thy path, okay. It says to acknowledge Him. That means you, by by taking counsel of Him, you are acknowledging Him, man, okay. You taking counsel of Him. You doing. What his word tell you to do? All right. For an example, your scriptures say, "Oh, uh, 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 you ought to say, Lord willing, okay. Tomorrow you're gonna do this or you'll do that. So you say, Lord willing, okay. That right there within itself show reverence and respect to the Lord that you 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 saying, Lord willing, okay. That's 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 taking counsel of the Lord. That's that's showing that you know within your mind that it's the Most High is in control of all things, okay. So you, you're supposed to be taking counsel of the Lord, man. Okay? You're supposed to be trusting in the Lord. Okay? You're not supposed to be trusting in man. Okay? The scriptures say uh, we are to obey the Most High rather than men. Your, 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 your directions should be coming from the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And not from men. That's right. Okay? Get a... Get a... Jeremiah 17 and 5. Okay? Because we, 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 our trust is in the Lord, man. Okay? We ain't worried about what men have to say. Okay? Read that. Uh, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 5. 
Thus saith the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man, and maketh flesh his arm, of whose heart departeth from the Lord. Right. So if you if you put your trust in man, you're gonna lose, man. Okay? You're gonna lose. Now granted, we have we have teachers. Not in I don't mean it in the sense that speaking of your teachers, because we got teachers and you need to be taught. But when I say trusted in man, I'm talking about you you being misguided. Okay? You being you being misguided by by men teaching the wrong the wrong doctrine or, or leading you astray. Okay? That's why you have to have good discernment. Okay? You have to have good discernment to know when um, somebody is leading you the right way or leading you the wrong way. And the only way you're going to get that is is by the Spirit, man. Okay? Through the Scriptures. The Scriptures say, um, Psalms 119 and verse 9, Wherewithal shall a, a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed to that word. So it's through this word. The Scriptures speak about uh, the scriptures uh, able able to make you wise unto salvation. Okay, get that in um, uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3 and start at verse 14. The scriptures, man, the words, okay, the words is able to make you wise unto the salvation, man, through the Spirit. Okay? You, you got it? Yeah, 2 Timothy 3 14. Yeah. Come on, this is the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 3, verse 14, verse 14. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Right, through faith which is in Yahweh Shai Mashiach. The holy scriptures is able to make you wise unto salvation. Okay, but you do need teachers, man, to teach you the, the correct doctrine. Okay, you do need teachers, but at the end of the day, we trust in the Most High. Okay, that's why, that's why, that's that's why, that's why we verify things. That's what, like the Church of Berea. Okay, you, you're supposed to verify. Even when your teachers teach you, you're supposed to look up things to make sure that it is so, that it's correct, that you could know it for yourself and learn it for yourself. And that, that makes you even more confident in the Lord because you've seen it in the scriptures. It's all in the scriptures, right? That that builds up your faith. Keep you trusting in the Lord even more because you see these prophecies going forward. These prophecies are popping like popcorn, showing you that the word of the Lord doesn't return unto him void. It's, the Lord says he's going to do all his pleasure and you see these prophecies coming to pass. That's right. So we have to keep our trust in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and get our uh, Psalms uh, 118 and begin at verse 8. We read 8 and 9. <clears throat> Psalms 118, 8 and 9. This is the book of Psalms 118, verse 8. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. There you go. It's better to trust in the Lord, okay, than to put confidence in man, okay? So you got to verify things for yourself, man. You got to do research. The scriptures say to, 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 to study to show thyself approved, man. Okay? If I'm telling you something, if you want to go look back for yourself and check it out, there's nothing wrong with that. You're not being wicked. You're just checking things out for yourself. That's what you're supposed to do. Because what if a, what if a false prophet was talking to you and he's telling you some things and you don't go check things out for yourself? Then you're going to be misled because you're not checking things out for yourself. You're supposed to do that. You're not supposed to be lazy, man. Read it again. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. <clears throat> there you go. And where, 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 where the, the, the Lord's words are found? The Lord's words are found in the scriptures, man. All right. Read verse six. Six. Uh, Salakis. Uh, you, you read eight. I mean nine. So I can read verse nine. Come on. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. There you go. It's better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes, man. Okay? That's what it is, man. You have to take your counsel in from the Lord. All right? Don't be like the rebellious ones that go into Egypt. Get um, uh, Isaiah 30. Isaiah chapter 30, start at verse 1. You can read verse 1 down to 3. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 1. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me. Right. So woe means destruction. Right? 
Woe to the rebellious children that take counsel. They take in counsel now, but not of the Lord. They, their counsel ain't coming from the Lord. And that's the problem. Read it again. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me. Right. Now, who, where, where King David used to get his counsel from? The Lord. That's why the Lord said, Woe to the rebellious children that take in counsel, but not of me. When you should be taking your counsel from the Lord. Read on. And that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit. You're covering with a covering, but not of the spirit of the Lord. So you go, basically, they're going off. Read on. That they may add sin to sin. That's what you're doing, adding sin to sin. Because you're covering it with the spirit, but it ain't the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Read on. Two, that walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. Right. And that and that and today what is what is the the the, 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 the modern day Egypt? America. Okay. This is spiritual Egypt and Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay? Who is the modern day Pharaoh today? Biden. Who you all uh these people vote into office thinking he was gonna do something for them. And we see <laughs> It's not working out, man. All right? It's not working out. Famine, pestilence, you know, you name it. Food, high food prices, high gas prices. It's not working out, man. Read on. And to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. And trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. There you go. Now you're confused. You put y'all put Biden in there. Y'all thought say, y'all thought say it was all gravy. Now you see, it's not working out too well for you. Okay, it's not working out too well for you, man. So at the end of the day, you gotta trust in the Lord, man. Okay. The scriptures say, our help is in the name of the Lord, man. Get that. Uh, Psalms 124 and verse eight. This is the book of Psalm, chapter 124, verse 8. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. There you go. He made the heaven and the earth. Okay? That's who our, our trust is in, man. The name uh, of the Lord, man. Okay? Get Psalms 91. Okay? Because we, 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 we are abiding. We are abiding in the fear of the Lord, man. Okay? And in the words of the Lord. Read Psalms 91. Start at verse 1. It's the book of Psalm, chapter 91, verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Where is the secret place of the Most High? It's found in the scriptures, man. That's where you're going to find the secret place of the Most High, through his words. Okay? Read on. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him will I trust. In the Lord, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, that's what we're going to trust. We're going to trust in the Lord to deliver us, man, to feed us, to, 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 to give us shelter, to strengthen us, to heal us, okay? He's the creator of the heaven and the earth, so we look to the Lord for all things, okay? We look to the Lord for all things, man. Read on. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare, the snare of the fowler, and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in the darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. Right, talking about the destruction. The Lord said you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna, you're gonna, uh, keep you covered, man. You're going to have that hedge of protection if you're a part of the elect. Okay, you're you going to have that covering. That's right. Read on. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Right, because you, 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 you the Lord's people. Okay, Yahweh Shai is coming back to save his people. Read on. Only with thy eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Right, by this time you're in the chariots. You're looking down from the sea of glass. Tells you that in Revelation, the 15th chapter. Okay, read on. Because thou hast made the Lord, 
which is my refuge, even the most high, that habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come upon, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Mm -hmm. They shall bear thee up to their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. Mm -hmm. I will set him on high because he have known my name. There you go. Because he have known the Most High's name. That's very important, man. Trust in the Lord. Read on. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and shew him my salvation. And that's why we're going to continue to trust in the Lord. We want the Lord to show us his salvation. Okay? We want the Lord to show us his salvation. We need that. We need deliverance out of the hand of the enemy, man. We need it. And that's why we're going to continue to trust in the Lord. Get Psalms uh, 18 and 2. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 18, verse 2. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength, and whom I will trust. That's right. My buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. And my high tower. What uh, uh, Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 10 tells you, say, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. Okay, jump down to verse 30 on that. Verse 18, Psalm 18, jump down to verse 30. <clears throat> Psalm 18, verse 30. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in him. A buckler to all those that trust in him. Okay? That's what you're looking for, man. A defense. Okay? A shield and a defense. Okay? You need that, man, especially for the times that we're coming into. Okay. Get uh you, you had a precept, right? Uh, it's a book of Ecclesiastes chapter two verse ten. Look at the generations of old and see did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded, or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken, or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Ka, you could speak on it. And the answer to that question is nobody. And there's multiple accounts through the Bible. Or the scriptures that you can see, but my favorite one is when Daniel was in the lion's den, and the uh -huh. Lord took the Lord had the angel take Habakkuk to the lion's den to bring Daniel food. Kind, kind, kind. Yeah, you see, I mean, it's, uh, it's all kind of uh, accounts, man. Uh, 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 Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You know, Come on. all right, all type of uh, um, 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 deliverance, man. You know, nobody ever trusted. In the Lord and was confounded, man. You will find that number zero, nil. Okay? Um, That's why the scripture tells you, says, uh, uh, things written a fourth time was written for our learning, man, for you to know. That's why you have to continue to trust in the, trust in the Lord. Okay? That's it. Uh, get Psalms, 90, uh, Psalms 31 and verse 1. This is the book of Psalm 31, verse 1. To the chief musician, a psalm of David. In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in thy righteousness. There you go. If we want to be delivered in the Lord's righteousness, man. Right? Because we put our trust in the Lord. We want to be delivered. That's right. That's what we want. We Because we know danger is coming. We Oh, we know this. It's prophesied. The Lord said he's coming with fire, man. Okay? So, we don't want to take part in that. Okay? We don't want to take part in that. No, we don't want to take part in that, man. Get a, uh, what's that? Uh, Revelation 20 and 6. Uh, Revelation chapter 20, verse 6. Blessed and holy is he that parth in the first resurrection. Read it again. Revelation chapter 20, verse 6. Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection. The first resurrection, meaning the first go round. 
when the chariots come, you want to get on the chariots. You want to escape the lake of fire. You want to be delivered. Read it again. Revelation chapter 20, verse 6. Blessed and holy is he that part. It's a lot. Blessed and holy is he that have part in the first resurrection. Mm -hmm. On such the second death hath no power. But they shall be priests of God and of a Mashiach. And shall reign with him a thousand years. There you go. We want to be delivered, man. Okay? We want salvation, man. So, we can continue to trust in the Lord. Get our Psalms 34 and 22. I got a couple of Psalms here. Uh, we'll go through them and then close it out. It's the book of Psalm chapter 34, verse 22. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. There you go. None of his servants shall be desolate, man. His servants who are out here doing the work, who are given diligence to make their calling and election sure. You're here on the highways and the byways, making your body as a, a living sacrifice, man, for a reward. For like we just said, you want to be delivered, man. Okay? You want salvation. That's the most important thing. All right? Get uh, Psalms 37 and uh, 5. Psalm 37, verse 5. Commit thy weight unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. There you go. The, 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 the desires of your heart, man. The, the, the Lord said he would give you the desires of your heart. Read it again. Commit thy weight unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. He's, he will definitely bring it to pass, man. Okay? Because you trusted in him. Okay? The scriptures say, when a man's ways please the Lord, he make it even his enemies be at peace with him, man. Proverbs 16 and 7. Okay? Um, um, what's that? Enoch. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 5. It tells you that Enoch's testimony was that he pleased the Lord, man. Therefore, he was translated and never found. Okay? He got translated because his testimony was to please the Lord. That's how we're supposed to walk. Walk in a way to please the Lord in holy conversation, man. Oh, being obedient to the word of the Lord and trusting in the Lord, man. That's it. To trust in the Lord. And keep a healthy fear of the Lord. Because that keeps you balanced and keeping you walk, walking in the way of righteousness. Always keep that fear because that's the that's the that's the, the whole conclusion of the matter, man, is to fear the Lord and keep his commandments, man. Alright? Keep your trust in the Lord, man. Because, hey, that's it, man. You you read the scripture, man. Uh, Ecclesi uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 2 and verse 10, otherwise known as Sirach. Whomever trusted in the Lord or uh, was confounded or forsaken? None. Nobody. None, man. <laughs> Get uh, Psalms 115 and 10. We're getting ready to close. Uh, you got two more. Come. This is the book of Psalm 115, verse 10. O house of Aaron, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. There you go. You can't get around it, man. You're looking for succor, help. We need help. The times that we're coming into, the scriptures say the enemy shall come in like a flood. Okay? Get uh, real quick. Get, get Revelation 12 and 12. Let's bring out them scriptures real quick to make the point. Come on. This is why we need, this is why we need a shield. This is why we need help. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. Right, the devil has come down to you, having great wrath. So you can see why we need a help, why we need a shield. That's why we need a help, and that's why we need a shield. That's right. The, we live in a time where the devil is going to come down, having great wrath. Get Isaiah 59 and uh, 19. This is why we're going to have to keep our trust in the Lord, man. For the Lord to lift up that standard. We need that. We prayed for that. Our hope is in the Lord, man. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 59, verse 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. Where the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Lord 
The Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against them. Right. The Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against them. And guess what? That's only going to happen for people who trust in the Lord, man. That's people right. who call it on the name of the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. That's who right. believe and who trust. That's not going to happen for any, any old body. That's going to happen for people who trust in the Lord and believe. That's, that's what that's going to happen for. That's not going to happen for everybody. You know what I'm saying? That's going to happen for who believe and who trust in the names. You see? Come on. Uh, we got two more. Psalms uh, 125 and verse 1. This is the book of Psalm chapter 125 verse 1. A song of degrees. They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, but abideth forever. There you go. There you go. All right? That's the elect. The elect is going to abide forever, man. Okay? That's the elect. That's the that's that remnant that the Lord is going to save. It's jewels. Okay? The, 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 the Lord is going to deliver them, man. And they're going to... The scriptures speak about you You being changed. You being changed in the twinkling of an eye. Okay? The Lord's statutes and commandments are going to be in your inward parts, man. And you're going to live forever. Read that scripture again. Psalm 125, verse 1. A song of degrees. They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion. They that do what? Trust in the Lord. They that do what? Trust in the Lord. They that do what? Trust in the Lord. All right. Shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, but abideth forever. Right. And, 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 that's, and that's, that's what we're going back to. Mount Zion. Okay. To dwell. And live, okay, forever. I don't want rathas out with those men. Okay, that's it, man. The elect is gonna live forever. I don't want rathas out with those men. Okay, we're gonna close it right here in the book of Nahum. Get Nahum chapter one and verse seven. Nahum chapter one verse seven. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. And he knoweth them that trust in him. The Lord knows them that trust in him, man. So if you trust in the Lord, he knows you. He knows you. <laughs> if you trust in the Lord, he know you. He know you. Meaning if you're a believer, if you believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you trust in the Lord, the Lord know you, man. You want his. You want his. Read that again. Nahum chapter 1 verse 7, the Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knoweth them that trust in him. He know them. Those who trust in the Lord, the Lord knows them, man. He know them. The scripture, the scripture tells you about the Lord, the Lord know the, 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 the number of hair on your head. So you don't think you know who he, he don't know. You think you don't know who trusts him? He knows who trusts him, man. Okay? Yeah, so hey, that's why we got to continue to trust in the Lord, man. You know, keep going, keep fighting the good fight of faith. You know, and keep our uh, trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai fervently and strongly. Okay, so right. hey, with that, hopefully you were edified. We're going to give all honor and glory and praise unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Kakudash. That were honest to the elders and apostles of great men stone who taught us the truth and were well. Salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing the truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Until the next time, shalom. Shalom. Shalom.